Hi, this is Noah Zerbe. Welcome back to my Model United Nations video series. This video series focuses on preparing students to be familiar with the rules of debate used at the Model United Nations of the Far West Conference, held every April in San Francisco. While the video focuses on the rules for MUNFW, the basic concepts of parliamentary procedure are applicable to Model United Nations conferences more generally. In this video, we'll look at the rules used during the General Assembly's closing plenary session on the final day of the conference. On the conference's final day, the General Assembly meets for its closing session. At that session, it hears from the rapporteurs, or the elected representatives, from each committee, who report back to the General Assembly on the work of each committee. The General Assembly then considers what to do with the report and the resolutions passed by each committee at conference. For those committees that are subcommittees of the General Assembly, for example, First Committee or Sixth Committee, the General Assembly has four options. All are considered subsets of Rule P12, Discussion of Committee Reports. Option 1 permits the General Assembly to vote on each of the resolutions separately with discussion. If this option is proposed, it is put to an immediate vote and requires a simple majority to pass. If the motion passes, the General Assembly considers each resolution in order. Debate alternates between sides, with one speaker in support of the resolution, followed by a speaker against the resolution. After each presentation, the General Assembly votes on the individual resolutions until all resolutions have been have approved by the committee have been voted on by the General Assembly. This is obviously a time-consuming option and rarely done at conference. Under option two, the General Assembly may decide to vote on, resolu on the resolution separately without discussion. As with the previous option, if this option is proposed, it's put to an immediate vote and requires a simple majority to pass. If the motion passes, the General Assembly considers each resolution in order. No debate or discussion takes place. The General Assembly simply votes on the individual resolutions until all resolutions have been either approved or rejected by the General Assembly. Option 3 permits the General Assembly to approve all resolutions collectively. This motion requires two speakers in favor and two against, and requires a two-thirds majority to pass. If the motion passes, the resolutions passed by the committee are collectively approved by the General Assembly. This is the most common option used by the General Assembly in closing plenary session to approve resolutions adopted by a GA subcommittee. Because the resolutions have already been approved by committee, there's usually little drama or controversy over their passage by the General Assembly at the end of conference. Finally, option 4 permits the General Assembly to take note of the committee's report without taking direct action on the resolutions themselves. As with the previous option, this motion requires two speakers in favor and two against, and requires a two-thirds majority to pass. If the motion passes, the General Assembly takes note of the committee's report without taking action on it. Note that committees that do not, re do not report to the General Assembly, for example, the Security Council or ECOSOC, only option 4 is, is the appropriate course of action for the General Assembly. Once all committees have reported to the General Assembly and the GA has taken action on the committee reports using P12, it's time to conclude the session. This is done using P27, adjournment of the meeting, which is usually passed without objection as the last item of the conference. Once the P27 is passed, the conference is adjourned and the session is over. That concludes our discussion of the closing plenary session. It's usually a relatively brief session completed in about an hour on the final morning of MUNFW, but it's good to know what to expect there.